praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, tonight, Amen. I won't be giving a topic right from the beginning. Amen. But as we go along, I believe the, the topic will come out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Brethren, you know the believer a few days back, uh, someone was um, asking me about, you know, the, the, the experiences that believers go through. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it became very evident from what the person was saying that there is a certain ingredient that we don't talk much about in the church today. Something that believers of old, they endured. The experiences that they had. Some of them laid down their lives for the gospel to get to us. But you find that believers today, you know, the, the, the believers today, usually we cannot take much. We, we give up too easily. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Believers have to get, uh, you know, some toughness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now let's go to Philippians chapter 3 and we'll read from verse 10. Philippians chapter 3, reading from verse 10. You know, Paul had 35 years of ministry. And this letter to the Philippians was written about two years before he died. He had had so much, you know, more than 30 years in ministry, active ministry. And, and yet you see from his attitude that there was so much that he knew he still had to learn. That, that I may know him. That I may know him. That was the priority of, of Paul. That was his heart's desire. That he would come to know Jesus Christ above all other things. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. You know, we very often take this aspect alone. Believers want to experience the power aspect. Believers want to walk in the anointing. Believers want to experience the supernatural. That miracles, signs, and wonders will become commonplace in the church. 
But there is the second part of that of 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 of, of, of that scripture. That not just the power of his resurrection. Because resurrection power is important. Without resurrection power, the life of the believer is meaningless. Without the power of his resurrection, we do not experience resurrection. So it is very, very, very important, and we won't play down on that one. But he goes on to say, after this, that and the fellowship of his sufferings. The fellowship. The fellowship of his suffering. In other words, the child of God will fellowship with Christ in his sufferings and experience the sufferings of Christ. So that you know, with the 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 yeah, church life uh, has become more like toffee and chocolates. And believers don't like the second part. We like the part. We want to experience the supernatural. We want to experience miracles. I and the children that God has given me are for signs and wonders in the land. But, but very often we are very quiet and silent on this aspect. The fellowship of his suffering. It means that as we fellowship with Christ, the suffering that he had to endure, the child of God must be ready to endure saying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So you can give the title The Fellowship of His Suffering. The Fellowship of His Suffering. Being made conformable unto His death. Hmm. You know, to conform. To means to take on the form. To be made in like manner. To experience what he experienced. Conformable unto his death. So, so, so he was talking about deep something here. He wasn't talking so much about maybe temptations, no. But he was talking about the deep suffering that Christ had to go through. And if we are going to enjoy the power of his resurrection, then we must be ready to experience the fellowship of his sufferings and we must die like he died that is what the scripture is talking about are you here with me Amen. praise the Lord hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. 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 amen 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 you know and we have to drum this home Believers have to come to terms with it. I mean, all of us, because it looks like we, we are gradually losing sight of the facts. 
Because that it is a call unto suffering. And it is a call unto dying. Are you understanding me? Amen. That it is a call unto suffering. And it is a call unto death. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is not only a call unto power. And yet, unto power. Power. You, you, want, power. Me, you want me to, to say me, power. To me. And yet, fry. <laughs> <laughs> that word is, is Ghanaian English, you know. <laughs> to me, to me, as I'm knocking. Amen. 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 <laughs> so, as we partake of, of his sufferings, <laughs> gradually we get to the place where we conform to his death. We die like he died. And Jesus, Jesus made a statement. Let's go to Luke chapter 9. Luke and Sempa Verse 62. Luke chapter 9, verse 62. Luke and Sempa and Jesus said unto him, <laughs> You know, one, one man, one of the many people who came, you know, asking Jesus what they must do to, 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 to have eternal life. And Jesus said unto him, <laughs> No man, <laughs> having put his hand to the plow, <laughs> and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Too many people, they, 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 they come into the faith when after a short while they have not experienced the good things. Then they want to find a way out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, when Jesus was giving this, this example here, the, the, the history behind it is, is that when, they, when the, the people were plowing a field, you know, you had to look ahead to a point. You had to fix your gaze ahead to, to a point. Because very often, a number of people with, with their separate plows will be plowing together. The first person will take the lead. And when he's gone ahead, the next person will start following. And the next and the next. Anytime a person turned round. You know, in fact, he had no business looking back. Anytime a, a, a plowman looked back, what would happen is that he would deviate from his course and the moment he deviates, He's going to cause a mess behind him. So what would happen is that the person who was deviating, he would not be asked to, 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 to correct. He would be asked to step out. Are you getting the picture here? Amen. He had to step out. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is why Jesus likened it to our struggle to, to access the kingdom of God. Says, when you are following, says, you must keep your gaze. It must be fixed on the him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That is what Jesus did himself. When a Yesu and Kasampo Ayaye. Bible says that he fixed his gaze. Shrani se ordinary esi so like a flint. To set a bonum. You have to fix your gaze. And say what so would you when you see me so? Because enough him. Are you hearing me, someone? What's your main car? Amen. 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 So that we will not deviate. Remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. And Lot's wife. The call was to leave Sodom and Gomorrah behind. But there was a pool. There was an attraction. Their property was being destroyed. And, 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 and Lot was a big man. Bible says that and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. He was a rich man in Sodom. So there was so much they were leaving behind. And then suddenly she remembers and turns to look back. And the rest is history. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody, don't look back. Tell somebody, don't look back. Tell the person, stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, no man having put his hand to the plow. And looking back. Is fit for the king. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And, and, and Jesus again said, He said, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him pick up his cross. And let him follow. It is not a pleasant thought. Where did Jesus end? When he picked up his cross. He ended up in Golgotha. The place of the skull. Amen. 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 Tell somebody, you too, you will go there some. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Brethren, it is part of the gospel. And, and you and I, we cannot forget it. Said, let him pick up his cross. Let him deny himself. Too much, you know, we are consumed too much with the self today. Believers are consumed too much with themselves. 
ene ye honam yi to yi eno na ekum ye yi and because of that we are selfish eno nti ye pensa min kum nya fo we are selfish ye pensa min kum nya fo say and follow me o se na di mechi and you don't follow halfway en ti nya ayi wo kwa akwansi no asan think we have to we have to tell the people when they get born again sa e ba san kro fo nya wo fofro na wo se ya ka chere wo that there is a cross to bear ne mo wo ti ase 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 nua bi wo ho a wo be soa there is a cross to carry ay ase nua bi ne te bi wo be soa Everybody's own will be different. Are you understanding me? But there's a cross you must carry. Sometimes along the line, the Lord will bring a Simeon to help you carry. Bring a Simeon to support you. But when you get to Golgotha, Simeon will not climb onto the cross for you. Tell somebody the cross is yours. That is what Jesus said. He said, let him pick up his cross. This one there this one is not Jesus cross oh Wey enye Jesus asenua It's not Jesus cross Enye Jesus asenua It is your own cross Wey it is my cross Wan kaso wasenua me ami so me die Say let him pick it up O se mani for the senua no And let him follow Na oni mechi Hallelujah Amen 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 Now let's go back to Um, uh, Ph- Philippians chapter uh, three. Okay. So when we carry our cross, we uh, experience the fellowship of His suffering, and we are made conformable unto His death. The death of the cross. The suffering of the cross. The spitting and the slaps. The insults. You will go through them. Child of God, you must be ready. People will deride you. People will speak evil of you. What you haven't done, they will say you have done. It's so part of the sufferings. And no so can breno ni amani who Jesus endure. The Bible says that he said, and if the master suffered such. Trani says, so o ra no so bread say him poor will not his servant. So aya akwa no di ne chi no so onu fa mu ana. Amen. Amen. Let's go to verse 11 here please. Do verse ba, 11. Said if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Na se be ya ne ti e bia me do ni wuso wuso ri a e yo owo di enim you know after more than 30 years of ministry e bra wa ya subjube di e be yen fi adu asa no the kind of impact that he had had na no man can tell so pani mo ya pa wanya you know more than all more than the the, the all the apostles and 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 and, and others put together Ah na e Jesus so so pa wanya empo se ya de esuafo ne won wo ka won nyina de empo ka won na wa di juma pa and he he was still claiming that he hadn't attained na se oni pe yi e san ka biom se onu ba bi empo ya It's very easy today to think that we have attained we have arrived and na ya de ya mere kra se ya adwen se ya ya du 
Yeah, yeah, be pa. Very easy. Emre. So we can't be corrected. Anunti, wo kwachi wa nyadi ya kasa chere kwa uti. Because we have arrived. Esa se ya dru ho. We have gotten there. Ya dru baby, wo se ya dru. But resurrection of the dead comes only after death and burial. You know, Jesus could have come off the cross. He could have come. A lot of believers, they come of the cross. They come of the cross. Because they are still in control of themselves. So the nails do not get to complete their work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know why God gave commandment to Israel that when they were bringing him a sacrifice, they should bind the sacrifice to the horns of the altar? You know, so they would bind the animals, the legs, to the four horns of the altar. And see, a year, a biana, ya di abuana, ebe bona for Riano, ya den, son in the nine, na ya de chachri, ya chachri, honi na di bubo. Before they would, they would cut the throat. And sana, ya chana mini. Because you know when you cut the throat of an animal, even a chicken, then they start to jump around. Wouldn't him say, wukum abuwa, ah, empo, a basa wukum a kukwa, ne a yen is a wuchan, a mini na na fe, I say, a huri, pata 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 pata. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice can be picked off. As for if it is not tied to the altar, some, something must keep your sacrifice in place. I said something must keep your your sacrifice in place. Too many of us. We come. We come. We bring the sacrifice, all right. But when it is becoming tough and when it is becoming painful, we get off the altar. Now, you sorry, Edna. Every for him, Mukado. So the bind the 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 sacrifice. What's it a tree? A buono and a tree. To the horns of the altar. Ah, what is a tree? A buono and meno. Because you, you, because you see, the moment that the animal touched the altar, the altar sanctified the animal. Anything that touched the altar was sanctified by the altar. If that if that sacrifice fell to the ground, it was made unholy. You could not pick it and put it back on the altar. But in any time we pick and take back the the sacrifice that we bring to the Lord, we make that sacrifice incomplete. We make that sacrifice unacceptable. Are you, under, are you understanding? That if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, then he must die. Without a dying, there's no resurrection. Now, 
Your sacrifice must die. And that is what Jesus said. He said, unless a grain of corn falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone. But when it dies, it brings forth a mighty harvest. So brethren, if, if we are going to get a harvest of souls, we must first die. Your life is like that grain that drops into the ground. That is covered with the soil. That seed must die. The life must die. Or else it abides alone. If we are going to bring in souls into the house of God, into the kingdom, then the people that will bring in the souls must die. Die to self. The flesh, yes. Let's go to verse 12, please. Do me a note. It says, not as though I had already attained. Hmm. Yes, I haven't yet attained. So, so you know, when when I meditate on that, it 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 it, it gets me a bit, you know. I, I don't know how to put it. After, so many years, after raising the dead, after healing numerous sicknesses in his ministry, and yet he did not consider himself to have attained. Either were already perfect. <laughs> you know, the word perfect there <laughs> stands for completeness. Again, it stands for maturity. Hmm. So look at Paul. Paul. He did not consider himself to have arrived. And he considered himself to be still growing. Then you and I. Maybe we will say that we haven't begun at all. That either we're already perfect because he recognized one thing that perfection would come when Christ comes amen 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 the Bible says that when he comes we shall be like him and we shall see him as he is. That's talking about sinless perfection. He says, but I follow after. What was he following after? He was following after the, ex, uh, the, 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 the experience of the man who went to the cross. That is what he was following after. He says, if that I may apprehend or if that I may 
come to understand that for which I also am apprehended of Christ. Says, I was apprehended. I was arrested. What me? Paul was arrested on the road to Damascus. If he had his own way, he wouldn't have ended up where, as he ended up, Apostle Paul. He says, I want to understand why the Lord took hold of me. Why he arrested me. And for all of us, your desire must be foremost. What is the purpose of God? For my life? Why did He take hold of me? Why didn't He just leave me to go anyhow? Anyway? I mean, why does He have an interest in my life? that I might apprehend the reason for which he apprehended me. Let's go to the next verse, please. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. Then, then the matter spoiled for me, Christ. He says, I haven't attained. I have not been made perfect. Now he says that, I mean, uh, I, I have not apprehended. No, that is, that is, you know, for all of us, that is how we, where we must come. Where we lay aside the little that we know. And come as people who know nothing. The gunman will say, Aleche. Aleche. We know. Even when you are preaching, they have gone ahead of you with a scripture. Because I must count myself not to have apprehended. Because there is so much more to apprehend. But this one thing I do. One thing. One thing, adekro, adekro. the priority, his and, priority. And dear, and his mind was set on that one thing. Says, forgetting those things which are behind. And he said, Me refin no man a woman chino. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. You see, you, you, you see why the plowman has to forget about what is behind. Why he must focus on what is ahead. So the moment he begins, his eye is giving a point. 
And he must aim for that place so that he cuts a straight line. Because if he doesn't cut a straight line, all the others that are coming after him will not cut straight lines. Amen. Amen. So that is our life. Say, forgetting the things which are behind and reaching forth unto the things which are before. You know, the reaching forth is the idea of stretching. Brethren, there's more that we must reach on to. We, we don't know as much as we should know. We haven't reached where we should reach yet. We haven't experienced what we should experience yet. So the things that we have accomplished. Forget about those. They are important, but do you leave them behind? When you have plowed, what you have plowed is not your focus. But what is ahead to be plowed? Is your focus. Let's go to the next verse, please. It says, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. He says, I press. I press. He's making, it's, it's talking about efforts. You are stretching yourself. You are stretching your faith. I press. Let's, let's, let's go for a moment. We'll come back here. Let's go to uh, James chapter 1 uh, um, from Yacubu verse 2. Je James chapter 1 from verse 2. He says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Here it is talking about not temptation so much that leads to that could lead to sin, but it's talking in terms of trials. And you see that from the next verse. Let's go to the next verse. It says, knowing this. That the trying or the trial of your faith work of patience. Your faith will be stretched. You know, when when Jesus went, there, there, there was that you know which happened um, uh, on the Mount of Olives, where he was arrested. You know, on the Mount of Olives, that was a very rocky area, and right. At that place, they had an oil press. 
prayers and oil prayers was made up of two rocks round rocks the top one has got a hole in the center and that is where they put the olives and then a donkey or an ox will be pulling it so that whilst it goes round it presses and, and the oil will begin to drip out through a groove in the lower rock that, that, that was called a press it would squeeze so it talks about it talks about putting pressure He says, I press. I press. He applies pressure on his hands. Brethren, if you take if you take the things of, 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 of Christ, if you take them lightly, you cannot press. You can't get anywhere. You can't end your trials. Child of God will not go into the word. We won't study the word. Child of God, we don't like to pray. When we are put into the press, what will come out? Said, I press towards the mark. Because you have to focus on that mark. The Bible says that Jesus Christ, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame. Today, a lot of believers, you know. We can't even carry Bible. We can't carry Bible around. We can't carry Bible. And the excuse is that it's on the phone. Now, that is a lie. And we hear you didn't manage to say a word. A year after that, that phone no so the crowd cry and get and get in so. When we, when we were growing up in the faith, <laughs> you know, when people were coming to church, they would parcel the, the Bible so beautifully. <laughs> you, won't, you can never guess even what is inside. Tell, some, tell somebody. <laughs> tell, tell, tell the person. Tell the person. That you are the Bible they, they want to read. You, you are the Bible. Not the paper in the black and white. This is the epistles written on tablets of flesh. On that is what they want to read. Not the Bible that we even hide. Say, 
says, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame. And there's a, there was a lot of shame on the cross. Naked. Naked. And they say, you are born at the jar. Not the one that they, they, they draw and then they put some rag around, around his lungs. No. Everybody was seeing everything clear. That was shameful. The Bible says that he endured the shame. He endured the cross. He could have come off the cross. Have come off the cross. He despised the shame. He despised the shame. He despised the shame. He despised. He looked down on 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 the shame. How people see you must not matter any longer. Are you getting the picture? Amen. How people see you must not matter. What matters is how God sees us. Amen. Amen. It says, knowing this that the trial or trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her complete work, perfect work. So you see how perfection comes. That ye may be perfect and entire lacking nothing. So here we are being taught how to get close towards perfection. Although Paul said he hadn't attained. But he wrote the scriptures as a guide to us. What will help us to attain a measure of perfection. Let's go back to uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 14, please. Philippo. Philippians chapter 3. Verse, okay. I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. For Jesus... Bible says that it was for the joy that was set before him. But for you and I, what is it? What is lying ahead of us? There's a high calling, Paul was saying. And your call will be different from another person's call. Yours may be into a higher, you know, ministry. Yours may be in some form of service in the house. But whatever it is, before God, it is a high calling. Ultimately, that must lead to the cross. 
na wie ye kure kwa wie ne e wo se di wudu asenua no so Let's go to the next verse please Dumnum It says let us therefore as many as be mature na afa yen dodo a ye pese dodo a ye do pe yo ho have this mind yen ya sa dwini and if in anything we be otherwise minded God yes. shall reveal this even unto you Se bibi e wo ho de no akide a onyankopon e be da no adi a chren I have shared everything me ne wo enka nyi nyinara so if in anything you, you be otherwise minded. If there is any question on your mind about the necessity for suffering, God shall reveal even this. Amen. 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 We should teach the young ones that are coming. We should teach them. So that they will be tough. You know, because when the Antichrist comes, even before he comes, there will be so much suffering in the world. Before Christ returns, we haven't, we haven't seen anything yet. So believers have to be tough. Amen. Amen. It is you and I. Well, let's, let's teach the, those that are coming up. So that I won't have the kind of question I had a few days ago up there. It was, a, it, it was a genuine question. People are wondering whether suffering is, is really a part of the life of the believer. And they are in church. Sorry. Are you getting the picture now? You should let them have the full gospel. A gospel that is not only about the power of his resurrection, but the fellowship of his suffering and and dying like he died. Brethren, some people died the way he died. Peter was going to be crucified. And he said, no, I am not fit to die like my master died. So he, asked, he, he asked, asked that they should crucify him upside down. And that, that is why we have the gospel. That is why we have the scriptures. Because some people paid the price. And now it is left you and I. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Pastor Brown. I pledge allegiance. Shall we rise to our feet? Some people pledged their lives. And they were ready to go all out. Even unto death. And now the baton is with us. We cannot afford to fail the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Up 
pledge allegiance to the Lamb. And with all my strength, and with all I am, I will seek to honor His command. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb. I pledge. 